Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Wednesday News Show. I'm your host, Matt Groom, and one day I'd like to present Country File. So we're kicking straight off with some trad climbing news as North Devon in the UK has seen some repeats of some terrifying trad routes. James McCarthy, Madeleine Coop and Emma Twyford have all climbed once upon a time in the southwest an E96C. James also climbed the iconic line The Walk of Life, also E96C, which has a special place in climbing history. So James was the first one out of that crew to send Once Upon a Time in the Southwest, followed very, very quickly by Emma Twyford, who said this on her Instagram account. I've not done much trad this year, let alone anything that has felt so serious, so I wasn't sure if my head was in it. Emma's been working a bunch of super hard sport climbing routes this year, so obviously her fitness has just got to that point when cruising E96C just feels easy. Madeline Coop was the other climber to have climbed it. Madeline sent the climb just after James and Emma, despite having sore fingers, bad skin and worn out shoes. She completed the route just before it rained. So as I said, during that trip, James also climbed the Walk of Life. And I said it had a special place in climbing history, but perhaps more of a notorious place in climbing history. So James Pearson put up that route quite a few years ago now, and he graded it E127A, I think, which at the time, and still is, no one has climbed an E12. So he was really saying that this thing was the hardest of all hard routes. Now this was met with a lot of criticism in the climbing community as many didn't believe that it could be that hard and it has subsequently been downgraded to the E96C that we see today. There was a lot of drama about it, James sort of, uh, you know, it was a lot of on him, uh, people were saying he'd done it wrong and then just a lot of criticism and mess. But regardless of the grade of that route, it's incredibly serious uh, and very, very difficult because the rock itself is very friable uh, the Walk of Life is on the same section of rock as Once Upon a Time in the Southwest. And if you haven't seen the Hazel Finley film uh, where she's climbing it and she kind of snaps a little bit off, and uh, I think she's just like, oh me, oh dear. Yeah. And she's, she like snaps off this bit of rock looking at a massive plummet. Watch that film, I'll stick the link in the description below. Now, sticking with our trad climbing theme, Neil Gresham has put up a new route in the Lake District at Dove Crag. Uh, have I got that right? Yes, Dove Crag. Uh, he's called it Fearless and it goes at E96C. Today is a week of E96Cs. Neil spotted a possible hole in the crag where no one had yet put up a line. It has a direct start up through a cave and finishes up James McCarthy's route, Fear or Failure, which is an E8. The bottom part of the route is serious with a V6 slash V7 boulder problem, which will result in a ground fall if you blew the moves. So I bumped into Neil at the La Sportiva 90th birthday party last week, and we had a little chat about that route. And in a similar way to Emma, Neil hasn't been doing a lot of hard trad climbing recently. He's mainly been sticking to the sport climbing routes. He reckoned it was sort of 8A, 8A plus French moves if you place the gear. And he did say that that boulder problem at the beginning was particularly vicious and very, very dangerous. It was interesting. He sort of thought that that grade of E9 might be a bit soft for E9, certainly at the lower end of that spectrum. But with James's route being E8, and this is an ex the sort of direct start to that E8, uh, um, harder climbing and more serious climbing, it made sense to give it that E9 grade. So amazing effort from Neil. Uh, so cool to see you back on the sharp again, again, mate. So from trad to sport climbing news, although still featuring James McCarthy, and I can't 100% confirm this story yet, but James put on his Twitter uh, yesterday, or today, depending on when you're watching this, that the Meltdown, which is this hideously hard 9A-ish slab uh, in Lamberis in North Wales, has been climbed by uh, Ignacio Malero. Sorry, mate. James McCarthy first climbed this route and it features basically no holds and smearing on slate. Although it is a sport climbing route, it's got some seriously spicy runouts in it. Right, play the music. No sense. However, I did meet up with Stefano Gasolfi, who of course is a member of the 9B list, and 9B counter, sorry. Uh, we had a little chat about it. Check out this clip. Have you heard of the Climbing Daily now 9B counter? 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm, yeah, we are uh, now, how many people are we are in the 9B country so now? There's, there's quite a few, but everyone's on one tick. Yeah. Do you think you're going to be the leader of the 9B counter at the end of the year? Yeah, uh, I think I can, I'm trying now this 9B here. It's a bit hot now, but uh, I, I will try to lead the 9B counter soon. I can do, yeah, two, maybe soon if it's not too hot. Okay. And maybe more before the end of the year. When you do it, can you make sure you climb it before Tuesday mornings? Because we record it on Tuesday mornings. So, if you're going to climb one in a week, do it Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. Don't do it on Tuesday afternoon. Okay. Okay? Okay. Thanks, man. <laughs> so clearly things are heating up in the climbing world around the 9B counter. Uh, these athletes are desperate to get to the top of this thing, which is making me think that we might have to get some kind of a trophy like an end of year, whoever gets the most 9Bs on the 9B counter trophy. So if you've got any ideas for the design of said trophy, I'm thinking maybe just a man or a woman just celebrating with a champagne bottle and a, a crimp. Anyway, if you've got any ideas, comment below uh, and let me know what do you think the 9B counter trophy should look like and I'll present it to the Epic TV budget making committee and they can decide whether they want me to make one or not. So moving on to videos on the website, we've got a brilliant new film that dropped on Epic TV last week and it features Steve McClure who is not only arguably one of Britain's best climbers but he's also a bit of a personal hero of mine. So the film follows his journey in northern Spain and he's trying to climb his first ever 9A abroad. The crux of the thing is he's only got one week to do it in, so super tight time limit. As well as looking at that challenge, the film kind of documents his life, it looks at his early climbing years, how he moved from track climbing to sport climbing, and just this journey of Steve's life. It's well worth a watch. Here's a cheeky teaser. I mean, definitely Steve's roots inspired me to go to UK, and if there weren't these roots, I would probably wouldn't go here for climbing. <laughs> I know that they watching me. There was no escape right from the start. Climbing was just everything. It just totally took over my life. Now, I guess on my bucket list is a 9A abroad. I've never actually done one. It feels as though there's a little bit of pressure. I'm not very good under pressure. I like life to be simple and easy. Um, but hey ho. It really is a super interesting film, so if you want to watch it, click on the description below. Now last week, in last week's show, we were talking about the idea of maybe making a little video looking at my uh, project, which is trying to climb an 8A before the end of the summer. Now loads of you commented, so thank you for that. Uh, and I think it's gonna happen. Uh, but we have to see with some scheduling stuff, so uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. But in the meantime, I went to the climb, had a session on it, vlogged it. So here's a tiny little snippet, uh, and there's a link below if you want to watch the first step of that journey. So this is the route we're going to work. It's fairly short. <laughs> that was great. Oh, come on, Matt, that's it. Easy. Easy, come on. Come on. Ah, so scared! Oh, What's wrong with me? You like we're totally gonna make that. <laughs> and now we've got some sad news. This is Millie. Uh, she's a member of the Epic TV marketing team and she's leaving on Friday and the reason that she's in this show with me now is you've actually featured on Climbing Daily shows throughout the, what, two years you've been here? Two and a bit, it's hard to tell when you're having fun. Uh, so you've done harness shows? Yep. Uh, Christmas show specials? Yep. What has been your favourite Climbing Daily featured moment of your time here? I think probably Matt taking you out your comfort zone by taking him running. Roll the clip. Let's do this. Pass starting line. Take the marks. Set. Matt, you didn't even say go. Inside. 
Sideline! Oh my god, you're gonna get okay, it. <laughs> Stop! Stop! Why? Stop! Yeah, um... How is it? Don't want to talk about it. What? Well, um, thanks for watching Climbing Daily and see you soon. It's only a race. I just want to point out that uh, it may have looked like I wasn't in athletic uh, form during that video, but um, it was, it was a long rainy, way down. it was a long way down, it was, it was, I was trying to let you win. So there were many factors in that video that didn't necessarily come over. Fair enough. Now this weekend, uh, Climbing Days off to Marseille for the Psycho Block Comp, so stay tuned to the, our Instagram if you want to have like live updates on that. And that's it. So Millie, for one last time, Can for I? Epic TV, sign us off. Thanks for watching guys, and see you soon. I should have been Hugo every week.